As a company, today seems like a big day for Google. Not only have they announced a ton of new features in every product category for the December feature drop, but on a larger scale, the company just announced some extra details on their AI Gemini models with some insight on what that means for Google Pixel devices. So real quick, I'll touch on the Gemini announcement for those interested before we get into the feature drop. Gemini, for those who don't know, is Google's most powerful AI model, and with the details shared today, we can see it's capable of understanding and able to give information on photos, videos, text, and code. Google showed off an interesting demo that I'll place in the description, but according to the benchmarks, Gemini seems slightly more powerful than ChatGPT4 in text and multimodal-based prompts. Additionally, Google announced three versions of this AI model. We have Gemini Ultra set to launch in 2024 that's meant for high profile complex tasks. There's Gemini Pro, which is newly implemented into BARD right now that will allow for more advanced reasoning, content understanding, and summarization. Not to mention there's Gemini Nano designed to work well for mobile silicon that will power some of the new features announced in today's feature drop. Which is a perfect segue to talk about the new Pixel editions. If you want more BARD, Gemini, or chat G PT content, leave a comment and let me know, but for now, we need to talk about the feature drop and it is a big one to say the least. I should mention, even though I did update my device and updated all of my Google apps, some of these features are simply not live yet on the user's end, so if you don't see them yet, just be patient as they should come eventually. And with that said, let's show off the new features here with cameras being a huge focus of this update. For starters, Google has finally added the Video Boost and Night Sight Video feature announced with the launch of the Pixel 8 Pro. At this time, neither of these are actually live on my device, but Video Boost will apply stabilization, sharpness, dynamic range, and more to videos recorded through the feature. And Night Sight Video will allow for better color and detail in low light conditions while also adding a night sight time lapse feature as well. And photo unblur should be better at sharpening photos of cats and dogs. Also, the Pixel Fold got a camera feature called Dual Screen Preview that shows the viewfinder on both the cover and inner display. The camera app added a new clean feature that will allow users to remove smudges, stains, and creases from scanned documents. And finally, Google introduced a new option in the USB preferences section to configure your Pixel device to be used as a webcam. Moving on from camera features, there are a few new additions in general that we should cover real quick. First, the biggest and most important addition to me is the ability to force apps into a full screen format on both the Pixel tablet and Pixel Fold. I'll get into more detail as future videos get released, but for now, you can change the size on a per app basis and it works with every single app I've tested so far, including the notorious social media apps. There's also a new clock face called Metro with its own always on display and custom animations. You can now see your device's cycle counts in the settings app. Some UI elements in the notification shade tiles have been tweaked a bit to allow for better visibility. The recorder app got a few upgrades including AI summaries powered by Gemini Nano and transcription support for up to 28 new languages. There's a new repair mode on Pixel devices that will keep your personal data protected while sending your device in for a repair. Contextual screen replies are now active and can be engaged during a call screening session. And finally, clear calling has now been implemented on the Pixel tablet for video conferencing. But that is not all, as there are a few new features coming to the Pixel Watch series too, like Watch Unlock that will allow you to access your phone without a password when the watch is unlocked, or Auto Call Screen that will show you a transcript of the conversation on your watch. My favorite announcement for watches though is the fact that Google's bringing all the newly announced Pixel Watch 2 faces to the Pixel Watch 1. Personally, I'm using the Pixel Watch second generation, but I love when companies add genuine value to their older devices. And guys, I know that was a lot, but that is a basic overview of everything new that came from the December 2023 feature drop. Overall, I think it's a well-rounded update with a great balance of new fun features and new practical features, while also bringing some much needed utility to the Pixel Fold and tablet with the forced full screen aspect ratio edition. With that said guys, let me know what you think of December's feature drop. Was everything included that you were expecting? Was there anything missing that you wish would have been in this update? Leave a comment and let me know, but in the meantime, I'm getting out of here. 
This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.